Hey, what's up? I'm Steph. I'm a DP and gaffer. And today we're going to break down how I lit this scene. But you're just the perfect temperature to keep that fire stoked. The days drive on and on and on. Still you're the one. These are performances from a live music series I've launched called The Seaball Sessions. Shameless plug. If you love discovering indie music and intimate performances, check us out and give us a follow. If you're in the New York City area, keep your eye out for some of our live shows. We were filming in a large church sanctuary using a three camera setup. I knew I wanted my wide shots to be very wide and that the third camera would be on a gimbal, so I chose to light from above. We had a balcony that we could access, so we rigged a 600C in a light dome 150 on an Avenger boom arm. I put two layers of diffusion and the grid on it, because we had more than enough output and I wanted to control the spill on the walls as well as on the floor. We set this light as well as our cameras to 4500 Kelvin. We blacked out all but two windows in the space because we knew we were going to catch those in the gimbal shot. I wanted those windows to read a bit colder and for the candles and fairy lights in the space to read warmer, hence how I landed at 4500 Kelvin. The next light we set was the stained glass in the back with a small Amaran 100X sitting on a sandbag and shooting up through the window. We didn't need a lot of output, and this closet was actually quite small, so the 100X worked perfectly. Next, I decided to set two backlights with crossbeams. I was using Prism FX Stream and Lucid Dream filters, so I knew having the beams visible on camera would give us some unique haloing. Usually, you'd want to set your hair light opposite of your key, to balance out the amount of light on one side of the frame, but I also wanted the option for some lens flares on both the close-up and the gimbal camera. I went with an old school ETC Source 4 on camera left and an Aperture 300D with a spotlight mount on camera right. We gelled the Source 4 so it would sit at 5600 Kelvin because I wanted these beams to be colder than the stained glass and the two tungsten hanging lanterns next to it. We didn't have a lot of set design and the upstairs portion of the frame felt a bit blank to me so these two crossbeams also served a decorative purpose. And of course, what would any set be without some dramatic haze? Important note though, we went light on the haze because I was already using the dream filters, which lifts a lot of contrast from the image. If you're ever using similar filters like Black Promis, Glimmer Glass, or Hollywood Black Magic, you wanna be cautious not to overdo it with additional haze. This can introduce noise and grain into your image as well as rip all the contrast out of it if you're not careful. And here's a snippet of our final video. So that's that. If you like what you see, give us a follow at Seaball Sessions. I'm putting the links to our socials down below. And of course, if you found this video helpful in any way, hit subscribe and stay tuned for more lighting tips, product reviews, and behind the scenes looks at some of our sets. I'll see you next time. <laughs>